Imagine peering across billions of light years and finding that distant quasars, the brilliant cores of ancient galaxies, aren't pointing their polarized light in random directions, but show patches of uncanny alignment, as if distant lighthouses all aim their beams along shared cosmic highways. How could light from objects so far apart with no chance to talk to each other end up synchronized like this? What exactly are quasars? And why does their polarization matter? Quasars are supermassive black holes gobbling gas at the hearts of young galaxies, shining so brightly they outshine every star in their host. As their light dances through magnetic fields and charged particles, it becomes polarized. Its electric field wiggles, mostly in one direction. Normally, you'd expect each quasar's polarization to be a cosmic lottery draw, independent of its neighbors. Yet surveys reveal patches hundreds of millions of light years across where polarization angles line up, an alignment so vast it strains our assumptions of a perfectly uniform universe. Could these alignments be chance or do they point to new physics? Some scientists caution that sample sizes and selection biases might play tricks, but the patterns persist across different sky regions and independent observations. If it's real, perhaps cosmic magnetic fields thread these regions, twisting quasar light in a concerted way, or maybe exotic particles, axion-like fields, interact with photons over intergalactic distances, subtly rotating their polarization in sync. Question, could ripples in space-time itself create such an effect? The jury is still out, but each hypothesis challenges our understanding of cosmic order why does this matter for our view of the cosmos? The standard cosmological principle holds that, on the largest scales, the universe is isotropic, no preferred directions anywhere. Quasar alignment hints at a cosmic anisotropy, a hidden structure or field imprinting its signature across unimaginable expanses. If confirmed, it could rewrite chapters in cosmology, pointing toward previously unknown forces or reshaping our models of the early universe. What's next in unraveling this mystery? Observers are expanding surveys, gathering more quasar polarimetry across the sky and at different wavelengths. Meanwhile, theorists are refining models of intergalactic magnetic webs, action photon couplings, and even cosmic topology that might explain the alignment. As new telescopes come online, we'll probe deeper and with sharper precision, hoping to either dissolve the enigma as statistical fluke or uncover a profound key to the universe's hidden architecture. Pazars are ultra-luminous active galactic nuclei powered by supermassive black holes consuming matter at high rates. Their intense light travels billions of light years across the cosmos, making them some of the brightest and most distant objects in the universe. Because quasars emit across the electromagnetic spectrum, their polarization the orientation of the light's electric field can be measured. Polarization can encode information about the quasar's magnetic field, spin axis, or the intergalactic medium it traverses. This makes quasars valuable probes of both local and large-scale cosmic structures. The quasar 3C273, one of the first discovered, lies 2.4 billion light-years away, and emits highly polarized light in the optical and radio bands. It's like a cosmic lighthouse whose beam tells us not only where it is, but also how it was built and what it passed through. In 2014, astronomers discovered that the linear polarization of light from quasars in specific regions of the sky appears aligned over vast cosmic distances, several billion light years. Statistically, this was extremely unlikely if quasar orientations were random and isotropic as predicted by the standard cosmological model. The alignments appear in specific large-scale structures and are not global, suggesting a regional cosmic coherence. This phenomenon challenges assumptions of cosmic isotropy and randomness. It implies either a shared alignment mechanism or a large-scale structure influencing light propagation. Polarization vectors from over 100 quasars in a particular sky region pointed in similar directions, despite their vast separations. It's like finding compass needles on different continents, all mysteriously pointing not to magnetic north, but to the same random direction. The cosmological principle asserts that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on large scales, meaning it looks the same in all directions. 
Under this framework, quasar spin axes, jet directions, and polarizations should be randomly distributed beyond galaxy cluster scales. The observed quasar alignments contradict this expectation and suggest an isotropy. N unexpected large-scale directionality. This discrepancy has led some scientists to re-examine assumptions in LCDM cosmology. If real, the alignment may imply new physics or cosmic topology. The large quasar group known as the huge LQG spans 4 billion light years and shows signs of alignment in both location and polarization. It's like finding that scattered pebbles across a beach all happen to point in the same direction, as if shaped by an unseen force. One hypothesis is that quasars formed within large-scale cosmic filaments, acquiring aligned angular momentum during galaxy formation. If their central black holes and accretion disks retained this angular momentum, their jets and polarized light would reflect the same orientation. This would require coherent structure formation over scales larger than typically expected. Cosmological simulations suggest such correlations might exist within filaments, but are rarely strong over gigaparsec scales. Thus, while intriguing, this mechanism may not fully explain the observed alignment. Simulations of galaxies spin within filaments show partial alignment along the filament direction, but not over billions of light years. It's like dancers learning the same choreography from the same teacher. But here, the teacher is a 4 billion light year long structure. Another explanation considers whether the light from quasars is being polarized or rotated as it travels through cosmic media. Mechanisms like cosmic birefringence, rotation of polarization due to hypothetical fields like axions or quintessence, could induce alignment. However, this would likely affect all light not just specific quasar populations. Similarly, magnetized plasma Faraday rotation in the intergalactic medium could influence polarization but is usually wavelength dependent and does not preserve large-scale coherence. Still, propagation effects remain under investigation as potential partial contributors. Experiments like Polar Beer and Bicep 2 have searched for similar cosmic birefringence in the CMB without conclusive results. It's like light passing through stained glass. Its color and direction may change depending on what's in the glass. If the universe has non-trivial topology, such as being shaped like a torus or possessing a preferred axis, it could induce apparent alignments across vast distances. Some models of anistopic inflation or early universe shearing could leave imprints on the distribution of quasar spins or polarization. This would challenge the isotropic inflationary paradigm and suggest the cosmos has a preferred direction or axis of rotation on the largest scales. Current data from quasar alignments, CMB anomalies, and large-scale flows show hints but not proof of such features. The so-called axis of evil in the CMB temperature map suggests a low multipole alignment, possibly echoing the quasar alignment effect. It's like discovering that your globe has a subtle tilt, not caused by Earth's spin, but baked into the shape of space itself. Some skeptics suggest that the observed alignment may be due to selection bias, instrumental systematics, or statistical flukes. Measuring polarization over cosmic distances is extremely sensitive to calibration errors, foreground contamination, and small number statistics. If certain telescope alignments or data processing steps skew results, apparent alignment may emerge where none exists. More robust, independent surveys are needed to confirm or refute the anomaly. Until then, caution is warranted in over-interpreting the signal. Some early claims of large-scale CMB polarization anomalies were later weakened by Planck's improved measurements. It's like seeing a pattern in clouds. Real? Or just the way you're squinting at the sky. If quasar alignments are real and caused by a physical mechanism, they could point to new physics beyond the standard model and LCDM. Possibilities include new fields, topological defects from the early universe, or evidence of cosmic anisotropy. These findings might also influence our understanding of inflation, dark energy, or the alignment of galaxy spin axes. Um, resolving this mystery could open a new chapter in precision cosmology. At the very least, it forces us to refine our models of cosmic structure. Axion-like particles, 
predicted by some string theories, could cause polarization rotation over cosmic distances, explaining the effect. It's like hearing a strange harmony in a symphony you thought you knew perfectly. What's the hidden instrument? The alignment of quasar light polarization over billions of light years remains one of the most fascinating and controversial anomalies in cosmology. Whether it is an artifact, a window into early universe physics, or a signal of new symmetries, it challenges assumptions about randomness and homogeneity. Future polarization surveys with better instrumentation and wider coverage are essential to validate the effect. If confirmed, it would demand a fundamental rethinking of cosmic structure and origin. For now, it remains a cosmic whisper hinting that something bigger or stranger is at play. The next generation telescopes like LSST and the SKA may clarify whether the alignment is real or illusory. It's like finding all the stars in a galaxy pointing in the same direction, not expected, not explained, but impossible to ignore.